Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to combine first and last names if they're in different columns and put them into one cell. So for example we have our last name in column A, our first name in column B, and in column C we want to combine those two to make to put into one cell. So I'm going to use, show you two ways to do it, one using the concatenate function and the other one using the ampersand. So using the concatenate function there's a couple ways we can get there and one is to go to the formulas tab the concatenate functions under text and we can just choose that or and you see, see this um, dialog box comes up the other way we can do it is just click on the insert function icon here it'll also bring up the insert function icon uh, dialog box and we see concatenates down there or the other way to do it is just type equal sign and just start typing it out concat and you can see that as the, the further along we type, the less choices there are for us. Excel is smart enough to give us some choices here. And you can see that it's chosen or it's highlighted, concatenate. And I, all I need to do is just tab that and it will fill out the whole word. Now it's asking for the text. So the first text that we want to show up is going to be the first name. And then we have to separate it by commas. And so the next, the second text that we want to show up you might think that it's going to be the last name but if we put that in there what it's going to do is it's just going to combine both the first and the last name without a space so we need a space bar so excuse me we need a little space so pretend to pretend we have a space or to insert a space we'll just insert a space between these quote marks so open quote space close quote and then a comma to separate it and then click on the cell A2 that will be the last name. Uh, close the parentheses, uh, press control enter to stay in the same cell and you see now we have our concatenation. Now the other way to do it is with the ampersand and so basically we're gonna also type in equal sign and then enter the first name and then use the ampersand as the, as the joining symbol and join a space so we're gonna do the open quote space close quote and then the ampersand and then A3 for the last name. And go ahead and do control enter and we see that we have our combination of a first and last name. So there's our two examples of how to combine first and last names. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.